Hi, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in new lecture of ETAP. In this lecture, we will discuss about how to assign the wind loading and how to modify the earthquake and wind loading in this lecture. This is one of the very important lecture because when we assign this wind loading and the earthquake loading, okay, there should be few values which you need to consider from the IS codes and that value we will discuss during the modeling. Okay, so first we we will discussing that what are the patterns, what are the procedures for the modeling of the uh, building in which we are going to discuss today the modification of the earthquake load and which data we should consider, which data we should consider like a uh, uh, take from the Indian standards and the for earthquake and wind load itself. So for that, in last lecture we saw that how we applied the earthquake loading. Okay, how we create the diagram and along with that, how we assign the earthquake pattern. So here, what we have to do is just again go to the define and click on a load pattern. When you click on a load pattern, definitely you will see the earthquake loading in X and Y direction. As per there, the IS code 1893 2016, which reflect with in, co in concurrent with the earthquake, it also show the ductility of the structure. Now, when you select the earthquake loading in x direction what you have to do is you need to modify the load okay so when you click on a modify the load okay right so when you click on a modify the load remember one thing that it is very important whenever you are clicking the modification of the load you are assigned the load in x direction it means you need to release in y direction loading conditions right now here few things which you need to consider here this range should be the top story building. Whatever the top story, if it is 11 story, 12 story, 100 story, whatever it is, you need to consider the top story and the bottom story as a base always. After that, from IS code 1890 2016, we will consider, we will calculate the response reduction factor, which is called as a R. This particular factor we will get from the IS code. After that, our building comes under the which zone okay and as per code there is a z factor is given okay that z factor we need to consider for our building as per the our zone okay like my building if it is come under the Nagpur zone if my building come under the delhi zone okay so these are the particular earthquake zone are already defined zone number one two three four and five because Nagpur two comes under the zone number two okay so accordingly that we need to consider all the particular factors so these particular factors already defined in 1993 and 2016 seismic loading pattern right so now after that the site type is 234 what we have to consider this is also given in the is code 1890 2016 importance factors calculation is also provided in the is code which also reflect you a very good information that we need to provide during the earthquake loading but yes it is very important that you need to consider the direction and eccentricity in x x plus and x plus eccentricity right plus and minus after that click on ok and remember that the time period it should be program calculated because you can, if you have to calculate you need to do the all the calculation but the same calculation what you are going to do is provided in a is code but here you need to do the pro program calculated because it will give you more clarity and it will reduce the error so click on ok after that similarly go to the y direction click on the mo modify lateral load why lateral load because these are the lateral load coming from the upward to downward direction or to downward to upward direction okay now we are looking for the y direction so you need to release this x okay and keep it as it is this factor we will tell you soon okay after that assign here wind loading okay so wind loading so we are assigning the wind loading in x direction right okay in x direction consider here the wind loading after that you need to consider the IS code which is given for Indian uh, wind loading is IS code 875 1987 okay and click on add new load after that in Y direction we will assign it okay so it will be like same add new load when you click on a wind X direction click on modify lateral load okay here also need to understand that the here exposure and pressure coefficient this exposure pressure coefficient is from the extent of diagram 
or exposure from shell object so you can consider both of them you can consider one of them because what does it means it means the whatever the diaphragm you consider during the earthquake if you assign the earthquake loading to your building so definitely you should go for this first condition because you already created a diaphragm for your building now the shell object means what the slab so if you want to consider the loading condition from the with respect to your slab so you need to consider the second one but here in this condition we already provided the earthquake load that's why you need to consider the exposure from the exit of diaphragm now here the wind pressure expo pa pa parameter here you can see the wind direction and exposure width and the width, uh, windward coefficient and leeward coefficient is already given but this coefficient need to be changed according to is code 875 1987 So click on the modify and show. When you click on this, this particular pop-up will tell you that on each story, which diagram is generated, what is the width and what is the depth overall, and what is the ordinate and what is the y-ordinate. So these things are need to be automatically calculated. But here remember one thing is that the direction angle is in zero direction and 90 degree direction. These both the angles are separated by the using the comma of semicolon. Okay, so this thing is automatically calculated as per your geometry. Okay, click on OK. After that, whatever the wind speed is available in your particular area is also defined in IS code 875 1987. So here, it in part number two, right? So in this particular uh, wind speed, if your building is located in Hyderabad, Nagpur, so accordingly the newton meter per se sorry the meter per second speed. Which is already assigned in the IS code, so you can assign that one. Terrain category, like if your terrain is plain, rolling, steep terrain, so accordingly that the classification is also made. After that, the structure class, structure class identification also assigned in the IS code that we will discuss in further lectures video. Okay. Uske after that, the risk coefficient and the topography factor, which is called as the K1 and K3, is also assigned in the fact in the IS code, which we need to just Considered from the IS code for the particular region. Then here also the exposure height is top story and the bottom story. Click on OK. Remember one thing that that here we are just understanding the what is the procedure for the assigning of the wind loading condition. Again click on this same loading condition. You can see everything is we considered. Now same thing over here. Okay and click on OK. After that just check our model which is uh, proper or not. Uh, but in that you need to just define the load combination here you need to delete all the combinations because this combination not consisting the loading uh, the wind load conditions so you just need to uh, delete each and every one for the selection of the other okay so what you can do just select first one and go and uh, go at the bottom click shift and select last one and click delete combinations now add default design combos click on concrete slab okay concrete beam and concrete frame okay click here and click on okay now click okay and then uh, select the model it is set it check is it proper or not okay so we need to check the model for a joints frame shell and other and fixes okay and click on okay you can see the pop up will generate and it will reflect you that your model has been checked no warning message was generated now after that click on the run analysis when you click on the run analysis okay so model will start reflecting a very good information to you which will provide you a proper information right so let guess pop up so you can see the model is analyzed now let's click on this particular uh, 2d window click over here okay and let's check the model okay wait a minute okay after here we will check first we will check the shear force first with the values okay apply and okay you can see all thing as in negative as we discussed earlier also okay this is what in the uh, for this particular combination right we can see the value here also okay so this is what we can see in plan you can see story 4 not we we want plan we will go to the elevation then okay second apply okay just this one in plan 
elevation second apply okay let's see the values okay right always remember whenever we assign the load condition load pattern so loading condition is uh, you know the shear forces is increased from the bottom to top that's called as a d lambert's principle okay now go to the elevation again go to the seven seven pattern let's see elevation here also elevation also good you can see it it's it's increasing day by day right it's increasing by story by story it means it is okay right now again elevation nine apply okay okay then again elevation one apply okay okay elevation three apply okay no never we can get over o comma o dash s o dash s is nothing but if you get a command of o dash s it means your the particular model is over uh, over stressed okay you can see that one if if you get any information like o dash s it means your model is over stress but don't worry like whatever the shear forces you are getting okay accordingly you will definitely change for dimension but if you cannot real you cannot release all the shear forces to become a zero you can withstand the shear forces okay by assigning the good concrete good good quality of the concrete good quality of the mix of the concrete and good quality of the reinforcement right so this these are the factors which you can assign to your building due to which your shear force will be reduced shear force is nothing but the creation of the cracks okay now here you can see let's check the movement first of all you can see the movements is also assigned over here okay so this particular movement we are getting from this uh, our uh, default uh, uh, building right apply okay you can see there is we not get os uh, command it is not over stress okay but you can see that building uh, bending movement is also increasing floor by floor okay and that is a behavior of the building you you cannot judge in other way because this is a behavior of the building always your behavior your building will behave as the loading condition will apply definitely change from bottom to top right right like this right so guys in this video we discuss about uh, how we can assign the loads assigned to wind load and the you know the earthquake load so now in next lecture next lecture is very important in next lecture i will be briefing you how to design whole building in single pattern okay so we will prepare a very good plan in autocad then uh, we will uh, import this plan to the uh, tab as we import the plan in eta we will create the, all the modeling we will do the first we will in next lecture we will do the staircase modeling and after that in next lecture we will do the building design okay so building design in which you will get all reinforcement detailing and i i should I, i i want to tell you that you just need to be very good in the, all these things you need to practice all these things which will help you a very good pattern good uh, exercise and try to take a very different different architectural model even though we will try to make sure to reduce your work in eta okay so have a nice day guys bye bye